Yo, YouTube, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video where, ladies and gentlemen, we are here bringing you guys another episode of the Minecraft Tycoon Gen series here on play.pvpcloud.net. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. And real quickly, if any of you are new here, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been showing so much love on these vids. I just want to say thank you all so much for making these part of your daily routine, coming back every single time I post every other day. It really means the world to me. And for today's video, we are going to be going ahead and giving away three of the brand new poison ivy loot boxes to uh someone watching today's video so if you guys want to enter that giveaway literally all these guys just got to do is just leave a like subscribe comment down below your username or ign and just type the code word poison ivy and uh yeah i know you're entering that giveaway also guys i did not forget we do also have today's daily double winner and if you guys don't know what the daily double is basically the most recent person to purchase something on the store help support the server and by the way you guys can actually use code hype right now and get 50 percent off your entire purchase you can use it multiple times code hype gets you 50 percent off but yeah the daily double winner it, let's say you went ahead and purchased three monthly crates you get another three completely for free and today's winner is big congratulations to i believe it's ugen ugen congratulations you're today's daily double winner go ahead and create a ticket in the pvp cloud discord and me or one of the other admins will go ahead and get you your rewards but all right guys so i think i actually want to start off today's video by opening up some of the poison ivy loot boxes right here i feel like that probably makes the most sense right now um and yeah these things are great so let's go Go to the cloud shop right here pick up three of these bad boys real quick boom there we go and i believe if i'm not mistaken i mean we have the the one pair we have one pair of poison ivy boots right here um, we actually have two we have two pairs of poison ivy boots right now so ideally we still need to get the helmet the chest plate and the leggings but really anything we could get in these are really really good i would happily happily take the pouches right here I, uh, whatever we could get i will take so i mean we'll see what we end up pulling right now but here we go the first one let's go ahead and see the first four are we gonna get anything good in the middle okay so i got some booster boxes and then finally okay what are we gonna get for the last item right here it's gonna be some black scrolls okay not the worst opening i don't need the black scrolls we're already loaded up on those but the other items really really good i happily will take those uh boom we got two more hopefully we can get some of the armor pieces like that would be best case scenario right now we'll see come on please here we go okay more black girls ton of cell wands right there wow we're getting a lot of the uh booster boxes which we could sell to people because people love their booster boxes so zero complaints final poison ivy crate right here here we go we'll leave the last slot open for the final reward oh okay so we got the plantera ho ability and we got one of each pouch okay that this is actually a phenomenal opening and then our final item what are we gonna get and it looks like it's gonna be boom a legendary money pouch i honestly i will happily go ahead and take those those are really really solid so zero complaints over here really solid opening and we got the plantera ability and this is super op because of a new thing we added this season so let me head over to a farm right here just to kind of show this off because i'm actually really glad we got this to start off today's video because when you're normally grinding you know this is how it is and then there's our hoe abilities you can get and the plantera ability allows the planteras to eat up nearby crops and you get orbs and all this really really op stuff and this is super super op because if we go ahead and apply this boom we now have the plantera ability so if we go here we can actually go ahead and enable it now normally how you go ahead and do this is you press q and it'll activate the ability and you'll notice you'll start to see these planteras spawn right there boom you guys see right there the planteras are spawning around this thing i mean you guys see it right here they're spawning it's super super op but the only issue is and oh my gosh bro you guys see how many uh items it gets it's super op and i need to turn on my uh i, I was that with auto condense on that's insane but you guys saw right there that plantera ability is super super op but the only issue is is like while i'm grinding right now it's kind of like annoying to remember to always press q it's just it just it sounds like such a simple thing but like while you're grinding you'll forget to do it and you want to be as efficient with it as possible well now this season we actually have a new thing called auto cast and you can actually buy the ability even if you don't have a rank you can buy the auto cast perk it is in the miscellaneous section it's 1000 clouds but it is super super op here because if we go in and enable that this will automatically activate our abilities while we're grinding so i don't have to sit here i don't have to like remember to press q each time and again in the long term especially even something on skyblock because we'll have this on skyblock next season that adds up over time because getting that to proc while you're grinding just in the background so you don't forget is super super op it can make your life a lot easier so yeah i'm really really happy that's a thing now we got the auto autocast perk enabled so i'm glad we got the plantera ability and yeah that was a massive w pull so we did get a couple other things though 
We got some XP pouches right here. We'll obviously just go ahead and do those. Some orb pouches right here. Let's see what are we going to get to. We got about, what, 546 million orbs. We also got some money, which is good, because we could probably do some upgrades on our harvester hoe right now, which we've been needing to do. And we got some more ultimate level pouches. Again, these things are some of the most valuable things on the server. People pay clouds for these. So yeah, these are super, super valuable. I'm just going to hold on to those for right now. And uh, yeah, pretty happy, pretty happy with everything we got. If we go to the upgrade table real quickly, here we are. I wanted to see what's our next upgrade. 554 million. Right now, our harvester hoe is tier 19. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Boom. So now it is tier 20. We have a 1.2 times orb boost and a 0.1 enchant boost. That's pretty solid. I don't really know if I want to spend money. I mean, what? The only other thing I'll spend money on is our island. And I actually don't even think I've showed you guys our island. If you guys did not know, I did join a brand new island. If you take a look, I am on Tristop's island. Uh, we haven't purchased any stars yet. We obviously will do that closer to the end of the week. It's just right now it's the middle of the week. So we're just using the currency. That's what most islands do is use the currency and then they'll start buying stars uh, a little bit later on. But we do have our little gem farm right here. It's nothing too crazy in the world. If I go here. Oh, wait, that's Iwanu's Island. I, I don't think I'm meant to be at Iwanu's Island. Let me go back to spawn or the island spawn right here. Uh, let me go to show you guys. I just want to show you guys a little. It's up again, a little basic farm, nothing crazy. So here we are. Here is our gen farm right here. Right now, if we go to the gen shop and take a look, we currently have a lot of yellow terracotta and then red terracotta gens right here, which are what were those again? Uh, those are tier 28 and tier 29. So we're about, we're kind of getting close to the glass generators, the tier 40s. We're about what, 13 tiers away. But as of right now, these are pretty solid. They make us a decent amount of money. I don't know specifically how many gens we have. That would be a really kind of a cool feature to add is like if you click on someone's island, it says how many gens they have on their island. Just would be something cool. But yeah, those are our gen farms right there. Um, does pretty good. It makes us a super, super solid amount of money. And then we have a very simple chest storage system right down here, which as you can imagine is uh has a lot of loot in it normally so if we take a look here yeah dude that's absolutely insane and i know i don't have a full set but i'm i have a 1.5 cell boost i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna sell a couple of these 84 mil oh my gosh 95 mil that is insane ladies and gentlemen oh my gosh so yeah we just made like casually like a billion dollars right there at the bottom that is absolutely wild just from selling that bottom row right there yeah that's absolutely ridiculous so yeah as you guys can imagine you can make a lot of money with that and that's just with one row. How many chests was that right there? With 11 chests in one row. And as you guys can see, this is probably 11 by, I'd imagine this is like 50. So we have like 550 chests per side. So we're looking at over maybe, actually, I think you could do like F3 right here. I think we have close to 2000. I'm pretty sure we have close to like 2000 chests right here. I might be mistaken. Comment down below. I'm sure I could do the math on this pretty easily. I just don't feel like counting up right now. But yeah, we'll just say close to 2000 chests right here. If you're selling two mil a pop, it's like 200 or is that two trill? That's two trill if this entire area gets full. And that's not even factoring in a money pet right here, which, you know, right now we got a 30% boost, but if we get this leveled up more, it could be a lot more OP. So yeah, this gen farm as itself, super OP. We normally always have uh, someone eighth cane and all that. So yeah. Super, super good. Makes a solid amount of money, and I do like it a lot. But what I think we need to go ahead and kind of work on today, if you guys do not know, last episode, we did end up unlocking Prestige 10, and that unlocked the Poseidon enchant. And if you guys don't know, in my opinion, Poseidon enchant, that is the most OP enchant that you could possibly get on the server. It is insane how OP it is. And look at that auto cast, you know, our Plantera's proccy, and that's what we love to see. But getting our Poseidon enchant right here maxed out is like my number, 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 number one priority at the moment. And oh my God. Gosh, look at the amount of carrots we're getting right now, chat. That is insane. And oh my gosh, we just got a tier three carrot block from that. That's wild. But yeah, this, this enchant, we need to get it maxed out. And that requires getting as many orbs as possible. We do have our orb greed enchant maxed out right now. The only other enchant that really we don't, well, an experience would be another really OP one, but that's really the, it. Like the two main enchants we need to focus on are experience, Poseidon, and then Bizuka combo. Those are important. And then sidekick. Like those are the main enchants, probably speed as well. Um, but again, we only have like 547 million orbs. I don't really want to spend those right now on anything but Poseidon enchant, which thankfully, again, you know, we open those orb pouches. And actually, I do think I also have my one G kit. I have my pouch G kit. So we actually have some more currency right here that we could go ahead and activate. So we have 617 million orbs now that we could go ahead and use. So that's a W. So boom, now that we got all that, let's just go ahead. We're going to go here to Poseidon and I'm just going to max it out. And it is crazy how expensive this enchant is, but that's just part of the game. That's just how it is. We're 
we're going to spend 618 million orbs and we're only going to get 226 enchant levels. It's expensive, ladies and gentlemen, but it's just part of the game. It's how much it costs. So boom, there we go. 226 levels of Poseidon has been added. And now we currently are at level 445. It's going to cost 3.6 million orbs moving forward. And yeah, that, that's expensive, boys. But you know, again, if this procs frequently, it makes it easier to prestige. Then it'll make it so that we could, you know, unlock Bizuka and combo quicker and unlock higher tier crops. So yeah, there's a lot of factors at play here. But yeah, we definitely, Poseidon's the most important enchant in terms of leveling up. It makes life a billion times easier. Um, it's just early levels. You don't really see it. But once the Poseidon is maxed out, you are going to absolutely fry with it. It becomes super, super broken and OP. And uh, yeah, what else more could you ask for? And just to give you guys a little bit of a reference as to why Poseidon is OP, right here, we were at level 45. Poseidon proc, we are now level 53. And when Poseidon procs, you also get all these crate keys right here uh, because it procs, I believe, like this like system where you get random crate keys and stuff like that. I don't really know how it works. It's just when Poseidon procs, you also get a ton of crate keys. So yeah, you add all that up. It is ridiculously, ridiculously OP. And as you see, we jump eight levels right there. And when you get to the higher tier Poseidon, sometimes you're jumping like 20, 30, 40 levels at a time. It's insane. Like, boom, just went ahead and procced again right there. Level 54 to level 60, we get all these crate keys. And the crate keys are OP because like you get a ton of these and look at the amount of orbs you could get. Like if I open all those right here, you open 64 at a time. Look at how many extra orbs we're getting right now from all these. Boom, look at that. Look at everything, all the extra loot. We just got like 35 million orbs for free. And that in itself will give me another boom. Nine enchant levels. It's not the craziest thing in the world but it adds up and especially with stuff like let's say pet boxes right here you know potentially getting some more op pets you get uh cell wands there's crystal boxes it adds up over time so yeah guys i think what i'm just gonna do right now um i'm not gonna have the most amount of time in the world but i think i'm just gonna grind for a little bit i actually am gonna go to the cloud shop right here i'm gonna go ahead and purchase a global orbs booster right now and global level booster so let's go ahead and pop those bad boys so the whole server gets access to them you might as well go ahead and do that so you know helping everyone out on the server while they're grinding pop those and then we also will go ahead and pop just some personal ones right here boom oh sometimes it lets me do it sometimes it doesn't it looks like right now it's one of those cases where the server's being smart it's not letting me stack the boosters sometimes it lets you stack the boosters sometimes it doesn't and unfortunately right now it's not letting me stack it so that's kind of a rip yeah okay i'm gonna grind this for a bit we got the i mean there's still two of the best boosters on the server 2.5 for 30 minutes i'm gonna grind this for a little bit unfortunately we don't have a full set of poison ivy so we're not gonna get the full boost of like a crazy amount like what is it like two times total so but hey we'll take what we could get right now i'm gonna grind this for a bit we'll see how many orbs we can get and uh do some more big upgrades on our poseidon enchant before we wind off today's video while grinding right now i'm just realizing like how much orbs we're getting and how quickly we're leveling up like mari prestige 11 we've already gone up you guys see also right there boom we're level 52 right there from poseidon procking i mean we just went from level 11 to level 52 in a matter of a millisecond literally and now we're level 66 we're getting a ton of crate keys but dude look at the amount of orbs we're getting now 52 million orbs we're at right now we were just at like nine mil like a minute ago maybe so it's just kind of crazy to see like once you hit probably once you hit prestige 10 on the server is where you start to absolutely fly for those of you curious though so if you guys are, you know playing this is your first season maybe get to prestige 10 once you're prestige 10 you're gonna absolutely fly through the ranks uh, becomes a lot easier to prestige and grind so those first 10 prestiges you got to grind a little you got to deal with the wheat farm and all that but then after that you'll be cooking and uh yeah we're gonna we're about to be prestige 12 here in literally like a second and boom just like that poseidon proct got us to level 95 do another prestige right here boom we're prestige 12 now that is insane by boys that, that's literally insane and we almost have already 100 million orbs right now that is wild i'm actually kind of like shocked at how like quickly we're starting to level up now like it, it's kind of actually crazy i'm not gonna lie but hey zero complaints here what is prestige top looking like right now i on use that prestige top number one still with 53 getting close though m martin and uh snoop big uh, he's starting to get closed in on so it will be interesting to see hopefully though now that we kind of hit this milestone it'll be a little bit easier for us to start hitting these higher ranks yeah how quickly we're earning orbs like who knows and i'm gonna go ahead and add more levels to poseidon here we obviously need a lot more orbs like we need like we probably realistically need like three to five billion orbs actually we definitely need more we're probably gonna need like closer to like 10 billion orbs to max out poseidon enchant 
enchant, but like once we do that, it'll this and it, I mean, that's what's insane. This enchant is proccing this much, and it's only level 477 out of 50. Like we are not even a third of the way of this being maxed out right now. Yeah, it's that high a level. Like that's just absolutely insane, boys. That is wild. Um, so yeah, zero complaints, big W over here, and uh, I'm actually really really happy with where we're at right now. And look at that, our plantera ability automatically proc. Today's just today is just a good episode. A lot of good things are going our way right now. So yeah, guys, I'm glad we were able to do that. That is easily one of the most OP ways you could level up, make money here on the server. So massive, massive W and uh, yeah, big, big, this big strategy for you guys to come and copy and paste here on pleatplay.pvpcloud.net. So yeah, guys, today's episode was a ton of fun. I recommend you guys come check out the server. Uh, we got a new update this weekend coming out and big announcement with Skyblock releasing. Uh, I'm just going to let you guys know it is releasing November 2nd, 3 p.m. EST. They're going to be a big announcement over the weekend. So for those of you that have been missing Skyblock, make sure you're subbed to the Skyblock channel because we'll be posting every other day on there as well. But guys, we're going to go ahead and wind it off here. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys all in the next one here on play.pvpcloud.net. And until then, bye-bye.